I've seen some pretty dumb stuff in my 26 years of life, but uh, this has to be one of the dumbest things I've seen this year so far. You guys gotta check this out. You will not believe how dumb this sounds once I read it to you. Now I'm not all in, you know, with the new lingo and new trends nowadays and I'm kind of uh, getting older, uh, you know, 26 here. But uh, apparently there's a new trend of a game that high school kids are playing called Senior Assassins where basically you go and try to tag other high school students in your school, I guess, with uh, water guns, and then they say they're out or something. I don't know how it goes, but, uh, you know, apparently that's a new trend. And, um, you know, just dumb high school kids seem to have taken it too far this time. So basically, to give you a bit of the background and the lore of the story here, the, there was some high school kids in uh, Illinois, I forget what city it was, but in Illinois, they decided to go, uh, perform a heist at a restaurant with water guns. <laughs> no joke, I am not kidding you here. <laughs> they actually went into a restaurant with ski mask over their face and with water guns that looked exactly like a real gun. I don't know how they did it, but they, they must have altered the toy, the toy to look like a real gun and it really does look real. It's gotta be one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Suburban police warn of senior assassins water gun game played by students wearing ski masks. The warning comes after an incident involved a CCL holder. For those of you who don't know what that means, it's a conceal and carry holder in the northern suburbs of, uh, what is it called? <laughs> uh, Gurney, Illinois, right? So, uh, yeah, I just want to, I just want to play you a clip of what's, what's going on here so you can see, so you can uh, get a bit of a uh, better understanding. But anyway, check this out. Some of the game's players have gone to great lengths to surprise their friends wearing masks and hiding behind cars and bushes. Well, what some consider harmless fun, police say could be criminal. Many of the water guns look like the real thing and elicit the same response real weapons do. At this Gurney restaurant, bullets could have been fired after police say Tuesday morning, two teens entered with masks and hoodies, targeting friends at a table with a spray of water. A concealed carry license holder there initially thought it was an armed robbery. It's my understanding that he was in the process of pulling out the weapon and it was displayed. No one was hurt, but now various suburbs are warning about the game called Senior Assassins, popular with high school seniors. In West Suburban St. Charles, police say last week a resident called mistaking the game for gunmen lying in wait. Certainly we had the advantage that this was daytime, uh, so visibility was a little better. But, you know, if you start factoring in um, nighttime, it certainly becomes more difficult under those conditions to distinguish between the two. So far, no reports of anyone injured or charged in these incidents, but police warn that could change. So as you just saw from the video there, you can see that the gun, the water guns that they use actually look like real guns. And I'm not a gun expert, but they look like a, a some form of a Glock. Um, but yeah, that it looks, it looks, let me just put it on the screen again for you here. Look how real that looks. Look how actually identical that looks to a real gun. Can you imagine being in a restaurant, just eating your food, minding your own business, and some kids or some dudes come in all of a sudden with ski masks and these guns that look like real guns, obviously it's gonna cause a panic, and rightly so. On Tuesday, a group of seniors wearing ski masks went into a restaurant with water guns that looked like firearms, according to the Gurney Police Department. The high school seniors were targeting other students who were eating and tried to spray them with water. An employee at the Point Pancake House at Skokie Highway and Riverside Drive told ABC7 a concealed carry license holder was in the restaurant at the time and mistook the situation for a genuine threat. Well, obviously, if you just have a, if you're just, if you're just, I mean, just eating and you have your, 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 your concealing carry and some dudes come in with ski masks and look like real guns, obviously you're going to think it's like an actual, like a, a, a actual situation that's happening. It is my understanding that he was in the process of pulling out the weapon and was dis and it was displayed, said Gurney de a Detective Sean Gaylor. Nobody was injured, but the police warned the situation could have escalated quickly. Well, hell yeah, it could have, and thank God nobody was injured. That that is actually a miracle, a miracle, because that guy who I mean was had the concealed carry could have drawn his weapon and shot those kids because it looks like a real, uh, you know, it looks like a real like heist. I don't know why it would be a heist in a restaurant. That's ridiculous. But anyway, and imagine like as it showed in the video, imagine if it was at nighttime and not at daytime. That would look even more scarier. And the the only reason that 
that like shots weren't fired apparently was because it was in daytime and they could actually kind of see that it wasn't a real gun according to the sources here but at nighttime it's really hard to to tell the difference right because it's darker and there's less light so it could have escalated for sure and that was very dumb of these stupid stupid high school kids playing this stupid game almost got themselves killed now as you just saw in the video earlier good thing that nobody was hurt nobody was injured or so we thought this is something that could really cause an issue and in this article actually nothing happened but if you look one day later only one day later it just all goes to crap Students cause rollover crash while playing Senior Assassin's Water Gun game, police say. Teens playing viral game in Gurney mistaken for real threat by CCL Holder. A recent Illinois rollover crash was caused by teen students playing a viral water game called Senior Assassins. So they actually did, they actually did something, you know, that actually something bad happened because of their stupidity. They caused a freaking crash. So apparently teens who were playing the Senior Assassins game while driving they were driving, they were fucking driving while playing this game. And the driver, one driver lost control of the vehicle while trying to assassinate the other teen with water with a water gun. And thank the thank God nobody was injured. So no one was seriously injured in the crash crash is what the police report said. Now I just want to play you a, another clip, a short clip from uh, this article on about the crash. So check it out. Mayor and another suburban police department warning about the potential dangers of a viral student game after they say it led to a car crash. This game is called Senior Assassins and involves high school seniors ambushing classmates and spraying them with water guns. Now I task a police say this rollover crash was caused by two students who were playing that game. No one was seriously hurt, but those involved were cited. And we told you last night about alerts issued in other local communities about this trend which has caused panic when the water guns were mistaken for real weapons. So yeah, as you just saw there, not only, not even a day after the first article came out where the, the restaurant heist with water guns happened, not only a day after that, it led to an actual car crash and it was just so stupid. I cannot believe that this happened because of a stupid fucking viral game. So apparently the senior assassins game has gone viral across the country on social media in the game, players get assigned random targets and they must tag with a water gun. I don't know who started this trend, but whoever did, it's extremely stupid and whoever continues the trend is also stupid. I, I, think, they I think they should really reconsider their choices in life. <laughs> but let's, let's just face the facts here. This could have gone really bad. First, in the first article, we could have had, you know, casualties because of the restaurant heist. That guy could have pulled his, pulled his real gun and, and you know fired upon the perpetrators with the water guns and that could have gone extremely bad luckily nothing happened and it was okay and but the second one also I mean the second one also happened with in the next day where the car crashed so not only did we almost have a catastrophic disaster at the restaurant we we almost had a catastrophic disaster on the road as well I mean look at this picture of the car crash it's ridiculous the thing is freaking upside down or not upside down but the thing is freaking sideways uh across like wrapped around a freaking telephone pole whatever the heck that is that is insane and luckily that nobody got hurt but yeah anyway i just saw this on my news feed and wanted to share it with you guys because i thought it was absolutely ridiculous which it is and it's one of the dumbest things i've ever seen this year probably more dumb shit to come to be honest but yeah anyway uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time oh make sure to go check out my live streams i'm streaming on twitch and youtube um, we're streaming Dark Souls right now. It's really fun. And uh, yeah, I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. If you can get me, get me there, please. Thank you. Thanks. Subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Subscribe.